hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you guys how to make this beautiful haitian dish it's white rice with um brown stew beans and a cross sauce with meat which is called kalalu it tastes delicious if you would like to see how i prepare this platter make sure you stay and watch the entire video if this is your first time on my channel go ahead and subscribe click on the notification bell for future videos like this and to my subscribers you guys know i love you thank you for your support and let's get to this video guys let's get to this sunday video all right all right guys so in order for you to do your sauce okay your sauce bean sauce how did i put it you gotta need this okay um some people buy um purchase the dry beans but i myself i didn't have time to wait for the beans to cook for me to get some food started <laughs> baby i don't have no time for that so what i end up doing i like to do my sauce with the canned beans the canned beans the canned beans the canned beans if you guys know today i'm hyper i don't know why guys but anyway so we're gonna do the canned beans Okay, so today I'm doing the pinto beans. Sometimes you can do the black beans, the white beans. The white beans, when I'm doing white beans, I usually like to actually buy the dry beans. I think it tastes better. Um, but any other beans, I'm doing sauce with it or I always use the cans, okay? It's easy, it's quick, and it's beautiful. For me, it tastes the same, all right? So this is what we're gonna use. Of course, I am cooking for a couple of days, so I have like three major um, things. Um, I love to put coconut in my sauce bar. Okay, you don't need both because I'm doing a lot, I have two, but if you um, only doing like maybe one, if you were doing something like this, just one, you will need just one, but I need two, okay? Last but not least, these are the things. Oh, there goes another one, it's hit, hey. Those are cloves and um, garnet peppers, garnet peppers. So um, you need all this, okay? Onion, garlic, Maggie cubes. And I also have, I'm sorry, I didn't put it there. And parsley. Parsley, okay? And what I usually do is I just, you know, open everything, put it in my pot. I'll put these things first um, with the parsley, of course. Let it boil um, when for like maybe like 30 minutes or so. And then I'll go ahead and add my cocoa in there and let it boil until fully cooked. And then I'll blend it. So let's see how I do this. All right. Hey guys, I am so sorry. Um, the whole time I thought the thing was recording and it was not. So all I have done so far. It's a matter of putting everything in here. Add some water. all right guys now that our pot is done cooking and everything it is beautiful so comparing to the hispanic community um haitian we tend to the only different the, uh, excuse me i can speak today the only difference um with our um what do you call it our um stew beans is we blend some of the beans after they're done cooking so as you guys can see i'm gonna go ahead and remove the parsley because it's no longer in need please do not um blend the parsley okay i'm saying it because i know some people will do it and say to jenny tell them to do it so i'm gonna put the onion in there i'm gonna blend the onions um any how do you call it any garlics that we put in there we're gonna blend that as well also some Haitian add um, salted pork it give the 
you know, the stew a beautiful taste. So I realized that I had like a a small portion, so I added in there. I don't have nobody um, eating with us this week that doesn't eat pork, so I can add it in there. Um, so basically what you're doing is get a good portion. Oh my God, guys, I'm not sure what the hell is going on. Today I'm clumsy. I'm everything today. As you guys can see, I'm picking up all the garlics and everything because you want that to blend in there as well. We don't do all the beans, okay? We only do a portion of the beans because you want when you're eating, you have like um, beans in your stew. So, here you go. We're good. We're going to blend this portion and I'll be right back. All right, guys, now that our beans are done, it looks like this. You're going to pour it in here. I'm gonna add, I don't need to add anything in it. The taste is good. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil. Some people add butter, okay? I'm gonna let it boil or summer on low heat for a while, and then your sauce bar will be ready to go, okay? I don't, I don't need to add anything else in there. Our sauce bar is booey. All right, guys, so here is the meat. Um, don't ask me how to clean my meat, guys, because check out my previous cooking videos. You'll be able to see that. Well, I can even make like a separate videos for you guys to show you how I clean my meat. But there are videos on my channel already on how you should clean your meat. In here, this is beef and um, goat meat. Um, this is my famous um, apis, Haitian apis, which I already showed you guys how to do it. I'll put the link. Um, on this video as well, so you can just click on it and see how I create this. It's already delicious. You already add everything that you need to add in there. So you don't need to add anything else, okay? On your meat, when you do this um, delicious eggs, all right? So we are getting the one ready, um, so we can get it cooked. Remember, your meat should taste good in this stage right here. If you're doing this right now and you taste your meat and it's not tasting good, your meat is not going to taste good when you cook it. Okay? I don't know. For me, it's a, it's a five. For sure. Alright? So, put everything in there that it needs. That way it can boil, it can cook, with everything. Look how beautiful it looks, guys. I love to see this color in my meat. For those of you that don't like to use a lot of pepto mat or tomato paste in your food, then you will love this because it already gives your meat like that beautiful color that it needs, right? So you don't have to add a lot of paste if you don't want to. The next thing I'm gonna add, guys, is my tomato paste, okay? Because before you add the kalalu, your meat must be cooked and get its colors. Don't be like, why is she adding a lot? Okay, I love to see my meat, you know, with its color. That's it, though, I'm not adding any more. Because I know you guys are judging me. Don't judge me, okay? All right. You add this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some oil. Remember, it's depending on the meat that you are cooking. Some meat you don't even have to add oil in it because they already have their own oil. But in this case, um, the beef I'm cooking and the goat they don't have oil, so I have to add some oil in it. When you're done, cover this bad boy, and we're gonna put it on the stove. 
cover this bad boy guys put it on the stove okay i'm gonna turn the stove to high heat that way it can boil and cook as you guys see i did not add any water um nothing in that i wanted to cook with the a piece and stuff and then once it started to cook when i'm getting ready to give it color i'll start you know adding some water when i get to this stage you guys will see how i'm doing it but this is how you first um prepare your meat and let it cook All right guys, for the sauce, this is what you guys want to need, a red and a green bell pepper. You're gonna need your callaloo and an onion. So since our meat is almost, you know, it's getting there, don't let it fully cook, you know. So you're gonna need to get your callaloo thing ready, okay? So that's what we're doing right now. I love callaloo, guys, I love callaloo. I was craving callaloo. Um, I asked Dig if he was in the mood for it, and he says yes, so I was like, yes. So before you start cutting the head of the kalalu, guys, make sure you rinse it first, because if not, it's going to give you that slippery, you know, water. So let's go ahead um, and rinse it, and then um, I'm going to come back to you. Okay, guys, so we rinse them. So what we are going to do is literally cut the head, like so, and the tail, you see? Well, all of them, we're going to do the same thing if it's too hard do not put it in there um put it in a cup and do some um rafishi okay that for sure i know there's no word for rafishi in english for sure if somebody do know what rafishi is in english please go ahead and put it in the comment down below your sister is dying to know okay like this one when i'm cutting it i can feel it's a little bit of, it's a little bit hard i'm not gonna put it in there i'm gonna put it to the side that way um I can do some rap with you with it. Okay. Oh. Like those big ones, they're usually hard. And that's basically what you do. You do that for all of them, guys. And um, when you're done, you'll, I'll show you what to do next. All right, guys. So this is how I caught it. I'm gonna rinse out these and cut them. Thing. We are ready to add our calories in there. I'm going to add a little bit more water just in case they have enough because I cannot uncover it for probably like maybe 10 to 15 minutes so the okra, I'm going to say kalahi, so the okra can cook with the meat. Okay. So I'm putting enough water that way I don't have to uncover it. Okay. Alright guys, so this is what uh, what I was talking about earlier. Rafishi. Oh my god, so I don't even have to do that. But we're gonna go ahead and put this in here. Remember I already rinsed them already, okay? I'm going to add water. I 
and then you basically you put it in your fridge and instead of just drinking regular water you just pour water out of this you drink and then you add more water it's only for me my baby don't like it so and then i'll put it in the fridge and i'll drink it until you know i can drink it anymore usually really for like maybe two or three days it's good for that's all got fishy okay all right guys so let's check our stuff Ooh. Alright guys, I'm gonna test it to make sure I'm gonna see how it is. Mmm, okay. That's why it is crucial to make sure your meat is so we're gonna go ahead and add our bell pepper <coughs> in there. I love bell pepper guys, so when I'm eating I wanna have a mouth full of bell pepper, so you don't have to add that much, but for me I'll add that. Okay. I'll add a little bit more water. And make sure it's um, hot or warm water. Don't put cold water on there. So your um, alcohol doesn't harden on there. Okay. Your water has to be warm <coughs> or hot if you can get hot water. Don't put cold water on the alcohol, okay? It will get hard. Don't say I didn't tell you. Since I add some water, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of sassam and black pepper. I didn't add any of this earlier. Oh, shit, right here. So I'm gonna add some. I'll put the whole pie because it's a big thing that I'm doing, so. It's fine. I'm also gonna add some black pepper. You don't have to, it's optional. But the fact that I add some more water, I just wanna make sure, you know, the taste is good. And I'm also adding some paprika to give it some spice. Because the peppers that I had, <laughs> they're not spicy. And guys, We're gonna cover it again, guys, and let it boil for a little while. And then your sauce will be done. All we will need to do is add the onions. Okay, really good. We're gonna cover it, and then I'll let it boil, come back, I will add some, the onions. I thought I recorded adding the onions, but I did not. So all I did was uncover it, check it out, make sure everything is good. I add the onions in them, as you guys can see. And we're just gonna cover it. I don't let it on the stove with the onion when I just add it, because I don't want the onions to be super cooked and stuff like that. And um, ooh, look at this, I'll clean it up. All right guys, so for your white rice, here are the things that you are going to need. Rice, of course. Um, the onion butter and salt that's it and let me show you guys the rice that I'm using I love to use that it's the Haitian right rice it's a jazz it's almost like a jasmine rice okay um, I love to cook this rice okay so that's the rice that is in there I have to get another bag so that's the one that I'm using all right so let's start making our rice All right, guys, so this is what we're going to do for the onions. I'm going to go ahead and pour some oil so it can cook until it gets to a little, like a dark brown color. Mm -hmm. 
As you guys can see, the beans right here is, I don't put it on high. I just put it on enough that way it can boil, okay? In the meantime, this is the kind of salt I use. This salt is really salty, so be careful with it. I put a handful. And then I'll add my water. Then I'll add my butter. let it boil okay ladies so now that your water is boiled taste your water and then also While your water is boiling, we're gonna go ahead and wash the rice or rinse the rice. Alright, so we're ready to add this bad boy in the thing. Make sure when you get to that part, your water have enough salt. You know, as you can see, I added salt in there. Um, that way, you know, everything the fit is correct before you add your rice. And another thing with rice, guys, when you are putting your rice in the water, if it goes above water, that's when you have enough water. Okay. If you stay below the water you have in your rice, that's when you have too much water. It's either you add more rice or you remove some water. Okay, because you don't want your rice to be super, um, how do you say, pat? Too pasty. <laughs> oh my god, that's what happens when you speak multiple languages. Like, you will be lacking one of them. And in my case, I feel like I'm lacking all. Okay, if you do that and the spoon stays, you have enough water. For your rice to cook okay a little trick for y'all all right guys so i'm gonna let the rice boiled and then i'm gonna come back to show you how i apc it while we add it if you look at our beans our beans is looking good right now okay yeah it's time for me to whoopsie you see how clumsy i am okay right now the beans is the back i'm gonna put it i'm gonna lower it a little okay And I'm gonna lower, but it still needs to boil. And it looks good. I'm not even gonna try anything, but just lower it a little. That's it. Okay. All right, guys. As you can see, our rice is all dried up. What I like to do is add some oil and as you guys can see my rice doesn't look pat it doesn't look you know I like to add some oil your rice skin looks beautiful I don't like when my rice is um, how do you call it too pat and stuff so okay. um, sometimes I use plastic to cover the rice I heard people are saying oh plastic give you cancer I'm not sure I've been eating it my whole family <laughs> have been doing that for years and years and they're still living and breathing so if you want to be cautious you don't have to use it um, you can use what I'm about to do right now 
and just cover with the laid make sure you know no heat is escaping from it that's fine um, also if you get to that stage too and you see that the rice is not fully cooked you can add a little bit of salt water at this point of time um, but I'm just gonna let the heat to finish cook it so I'm gonna that way there is no heat you know escaping in there all right so if you do it like that it's fine and allow the rice to cook and remember to put your oven down a little that way the rice doesn't get burned okay. and that's how you tofu your rice and you leave it alone until the rice and that's it guys and our food is literally ready oh let me show you guys the rice hold on my bad and that's how I love my rice I love when my rice look like this it's not too you know it's not overcooked okay Ooh. and my rice is cooked but it's beautiful you see let me get you guys closer this is the perfect rice right here hold on fixing my camera all right so the food is done guys I hope you try this tasty Haitian food for your family on this beautiful Sunday okay and if you did try it let me know okay and if you want to try it you're not positive and you feel like you're making your list and you are missing things reach out you know I can you know help you guide you and so on and so forth thank you guys for watching all right my baby started to get hungry time for me to feed my baby and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.